I do think there's a lot of fear and confusion on both sides of the argument. I know there's a massive recruitment crisis in general practice, and I know that we're imploding, but filling the practice with non-doctors is nothing more than a sticking plaster approach, and it's not really getting to the root of the issues. None of us can recruit. Our practice can't recruit, so we have no choice but to go down the non-GP route. But have you ever stopped to consider how filling the cracks in this way may permanently change the landscape of NHS general practice forever. The biggest issue in this is the loss of continuity of care. Isn't this fundamentally about the essence of being a GP? Carving up bits of my role is not the job I signed up for. To have a CPN see all my mental health patients and a physio see all my joint problems, it will make me lose all the skills that I worked so hard to attain over many years. If you siphon off entire groups of patients, will soon become de-skilled. Our role is to be a specialist in generalism. We've obviously been accused of being too negative and making too much of a fuss of the state of general practice and that this is a crisis of our own making. And despite my optimism that we can, if we all work together, make general practice better again, and I hope we can, the maths and time equations still don't add up to create a workforce that can manage the demand and we need to call in the troops. I will admit to being very sceptical of having some allied health professionals in our practice until we signed up to have a trainee paramedic practitioner. And I have to say it completely revolutionized my working life when we had him. We came to trust his clinical judgment. He knew his unknown unknowns and was exceedingly competent. What surprised me was that the patients absolutely loved it. Aside from workload, there were some other huge benefits. We got to know and respect each other's roles much more. He gained a huge respect for the complexity, diversity and rate of work that we do and the level of risk that we take. If we're ever going to cope with the workload we face, we need patients to understand that GPs simply cannot do everything. Core GP funding has to be increased and indemnity, indemnity issues have to be sorted out if using other health professionals to assist us is managing our workload as a hope of helping the workforce crisis. So I have a question for you. Shabba, are you not just stuck in the past? Um, I'm afraid that if the past means having continuity of care, having knowledge of a patient and a patient's family, and, um, deal and, and using all the training that we've got, using my gynaecology training and the next minute using my psychiatric training, then yes, I am stuck in the past. We all have an unconscious incompetence and we try to make that smaller and smaller as life goes on. I fear that that unconscious incompetence is far greater in non-doctors, and I think there is a real problem, or it, the pendulum could swing the other way, and rather than managing things independently, they uh, bring everyone back.